Here we are. You guys know we've got that in there for the fourth time. Unfortunately, we've hit a snag in the road. That snag just happened to be, well, two days after we got the engine set in the car. Well, after we started figuring the headers out. They come out with a new engine rule for St. Francis County. And pretty much with those engine rules, our big 383 engine is not legal. Well, I say it's not legal. There are some parts that are legal, like the valve covers, the block itself, the water pump. The distributor is definitely legal with the rules. But the rest of the internals on the engine, not so legal. So we can't use this engine. Not at Farmton at least. And we've been talking about going smaller anyway. So here's a little information on this engine. It is a small block stroker, Chevy stroker engine, a 383. It's got I-beam rods in it, tall dome pistons, dart heads, roller rockers. Uh, it's got a mild cam in it. And I don't remember the lifts on it. Uh, I'm selling it heads to oil pan uh you're gonna get the you're gonna get the high rise intake i'll probably pull this out because i need that need that for my new engine i'm gonna get um you're gonna get high rise intake heads head, valve cover gaskets water pump the whole bottom end like i said down to the oil pan um I may negotiate a little bit on price, but we're asking $4,500. i am keeping the starter, the flywheel, the clutch, the distributor, all the pulleys, the uh, power steering pump, and the engine mounts. Uh, that's what I can think of off the top of my head anyway, but everything else goes for the engine. Uh, you can't build this engine for what I'm asking. I'm asking $4,500 as is um, maybe 30 nights on it total we probably only had five nights when we ran it in the modified five nights first year we ran it in the in the street stock in the old leafer maybe 10 nights to when we ran it the second year in the old leafer and obviously we didn't run it at all this year other than starting it up so that's got to go so we can get the money to put a new engine in now with that being said the new engine will open me up to where I can run in a lot more classes I can run sportsman at I-55 I can run factory stock pretty much anywhere it runs a factory stock class um, there's even you know a couple other classes that I could possibly slip into having a steel body so like I said we're gonna sell this one to buy a new engine, which I got one lined up with Danny Moser, the guy that built this engine. Uh, he's got another one that I'm looking to buy to put in here, which we know this engine here is a pretty healthy engine. I just never had it in a good car to really get it to grip. So, um, like I said, we're going to have another engine lined up and some of the money left over from that will go into the rest of the car. To help fund our season so and the best part is we will be able to run pump gas actual pump gas for i don't know how, how much it'll be by the time we get to race season it might be two dollars a gallon or it might be twenty dollars a gallon but it's still a whole lot cheaper than the fuel we run in that that engine but boy that's a healthy engine if you want to run it in a modified or an open street stock class so Hit me up on my Facebook page. I'll leave a link down below. You can message me however we got to do it, but we're going to get into the action. What are we doing today? Well, we're going to do some basic maintenance on the old lap wag there. Uh, probably about time to get an oil change done on it. I don't get up to my normal oil change guy, so we're going to do it ourselves because, well, needs done. Uh, one of the things is this car's got 138,000 almost or 
238,000, I should say, miles on it. It's a little broke in. Uh, I've heard some guys saying they're getting over 400,000 miles out of these cars on the original engine and transmission. I don't think our transmission is going to quite make it that long, but either way, we want to try to make the engine last as long as we can. And with it getting cold out, I'm starting to get a little more of a top end tick to it. Uh, they, they recommend a 530 oil in these cars. I like to run a 1030 just simply because it's a little bit thicker. It helps with the leaks a little bit better. And plus, I'm going to run a high mileage oil in here this go around to see if it don't help. But most of that top end tick concerns me a little bit. So we're going to change oil on this thing and kind of look a few things over and make sure all the loose ends are tied on it. So we'll be with you. Now with the Ladwag being such a high mileage car, not too high, but getting broke in. I want to check the filter here. Let's kind of look it over inside and out. Just looking for some metal shavings or anything major to kind of inspect it. Um, it's got a little bit of sludge build up on the inside, but kind of expecting because when it get, gets low in oil, it just kind of add whatever in it. Um, this filter is in a lot better shape than the last oil filter that I took off the car. Uh, the last one was actually separated out here on the fins and coming apart so that's not a good thing and the other thing you want to do don't matter what kind of car it is when you get the old filter off you want to double check it uh, with your new filter make sure there's, they're the same ones especially if you change brands or something make sure they are identical so uh, we're finishing letting the oil drain that was left in there uh found a few little knickknack things to, on the exhaust i kind of need to button up but nothing major uh so far so we're gonna go ahead and finish this oil change up and look into the other stuff okay he says five quarts of 5w30 premium maybe that's a half i don't know what that is val premium val premium I didn't know Valvoline made a premium oil. I thought Valvoline was Valvoline. They do got this high, high mileage, max life technology. That's what we run in our high mileage vehicles. Or at least I do. So, we're going to see if five quarts matches here because one of these should have should fill up if not we got some lucas we'll top it off with lucas can't go wrong with lucas stops your leaks lubes your engine gums everything up it's good stuff all right we're gonna pour five quarts down this hole that should fill it up i guess before we put put put, put the willow in there we ought to put the plug back in okay so we put that on there it was a fibber because we put five quarts of 10w30 in on top of about a quart of Lucas, so that's a lie. Okay, well, we changed oil in the lad wag. Let you guys know about selling that and the new engine rule change. Uh, ain't much more we're really gonna do because we gotta start switching on day shift tomorrow and gotta get up early, so. We're gonna probably start putting some more stuff up for sale here pretty soon and like I said before, it's going to really help fund our 2022 season if we ever get to it. So um, I guess we're going to go ahead and close out. Uh, like I said before, message me on Facebook if you're interested in buying that big monster 383. Um, $4,500, like I said. Uh, who knows, 10,000 bucks, you might have get the whole car. Either way, we're going to go ahead and close this one out. And no, I'm just joking about the selling the car. I really don't want to sell a car and have to start over again. Because this one's so close to being ready. But we're going to go ahead and close this one out. Um, God bless you guys. We'll catch you later.